So for a dash vault, what you want to do is find an obstacle that's flat so you don't have to concentrate on where your hands go because the thing about the dash vault is your hands are going to be behind you. So by having a medium sized flat obstacle, you don't have to concentrate about where to put your hands as much. So the first thing you want to do is you want to jog at the obstacle, not too fast, legs separated. So for example, I'd be going for this obstacle, I'd be jumping right about here, maybe a two, three feet away from the obstacle where I'm jumping off of. So I want to jump off this leg and bring the other one up. By doing this, I'm going to be able to get the height to get over the obstacle. So at this point, I jump off this leg, bring this one up, and when this one is off of the ground, you bring it to the other leg as well. So at the end of this, both your legs are going to be in front of you. So this is going to be a little scary at first because your legs are in front of you, you're thinking about clipping your feet on the obstacle, but it all comes with practice. So what you want to do after that, your legs are going to be in front of you, your hands are going to be behind you like this. And what you want to do is towards the end of the obstacle, you want to push off of your hands on the obstacle so that you can bring yourself back straight. Before this, your legs are in front of you and you're not really in a running position. So that's why you push off of the obstacle with your hands to bring yourself back in the running position. A really good thing to do at this point would be to split your legs because then you can just keep running and you can have as much momentum as you want. Let me show you guys one right now.